So I made a video on the Photos app a while back with some practical tips. I'll include a link in the description below. Today's video is more about custom organization and finally enjoying those photos you have on your iPad. Apple has some built-in features you might not know about that really turn your photos into something special. One of the cool features is a trip down memory lane. Stick around, I think you're going to like this one. Hi, my name is Rich and welcome to the channel. Digital photos have completely changed the world of photography and for the good, I think. All of my old photo albums were printed photos that were just stuck in a cabinet somewhere. They're just too much trouble to dig out, so I don't really look at them that often. And if you're my age, it's probably the same for you. But one killer feature that Apple added a while back is that all the photos shot on your iPhone just show up on your iPad. And I mess around with my iPad all the time. I mean, honestly, I look at photos either on my iPhone or iPad just about every day. And since I've been taking pictures with my iPhone for years, I've got a great stash to look at. But here's the thing. I usually just dive into the library and I scroll up and down until I find what I'm looking for. It's not very... It's kind of a hard way to do it. But the iPad has a number of built-in features that'll help you excavate some old photos and bring them to life again. And that's what I'm going to cover today. So, in the Photos app, we're going to take a look at the For You section, which is really sort of neat. That's the trip down memory lane. The Places section, the Favorites section, how you can choose your own favorite pictures. And if you stick around until the end of the video, I'll show you the best tip of all, how to create custom folders and add your own custom albums to your custom folders. All right, let's get started. All right, the first thing I want to talk to you about is the For You section. If you go into your Photos app on your iPad, you may see something that looks like this. It's just a whole bunch of pictures. Up here at the top is a little icon that shows a sidebar. If you tap on that, you can get over to this section here. And this is the way that Apple organizes your photos. If you start out with library, that's literally every photo you have in your library. And as I mentioned in my old video, you can look at it. You can look at it by years, months, days, or just all photos. And if you go into years, you can tap on 2022. And if you'll see, it sort of puts a whole bunch of things together in a way here that's kind of interesting to look at. And you can tap on that picture and then it goes down into the days part and you can scroll through that way. That's all a part of the library. But, but the next section down is for you and this is what's kind of neat. You can't control anything here. There's nothing you have to do. But Apple puts together memories that it thinks that you might like. So for example, it's created in the memory section here a video called Best Friends and you can just tap on it and watch it. Puts a little music with it, makes it something interesting to watch. And it'll do that with a whole bunch of other ones. It'll take portraits, It'll take certain dates. Here's pet friends. And it'll go through different sections here and it'll put stuff together for you. But this little memory section is what's so good and that's in the For You uh, category on the Photos app. And I would encourage you to just tap in there and see what Apple's put together. It's kind of fun to watch. Alright, the next section I want to talk about is Places. And if you tap on Places over here it'll show you where your photos were taken. Now keep in mind you have to have taken this with some digital device that knows your location at the time you took the photo. So the iPhone does that for you. If you took pictures um, and then scanned them in, which I've done some of my old uh, paper photos, they don't have any of that information on you and it's a big rigmarole to try to get them all lined up for the years. But in this case, the pictures you see here in the places um, are based upon where I took them. And so you can tap on anything. For example, I was in Denver, and you can tap on Denver, and you can see where I was near Breckenridge. 
and some of those places like that. And you can just go through uh, the photos that you have that are there. There was one in downtown Denver. And if you tap on any of the others, you can see the places that you've been. Here's home, certain dates that are in here. These are all pictures taken here where I live in Raleigh. All of that kind of thing. And you can go back. And here are some photos that I took when I was at a convention in New Orleans. That was a fun time. But it's just a way to sort of remember vacation trips or uh, events that you had in different locations. And it's a great way um, to view your photos. All right, the next thing I want to show you is the favorite section. And this is all up to you. You decide what is your favorite picture. So if you tap on favorites, you may have absolutely nothing in here. But if you want to add a photo to the favorites, it's pretty easy. You just go back to your library and you tap on a picture. Here's my grandson and Scout. And if you want to make that your fav a favorite picture, you just tap on the little heart in the top left corner, like that. And then if you go back to favorites, there's the picture. And this allows you to sort of curate those things that are really important to you that you want to remember. And I just sort of slowly work my way through the photos and add things that are my favorites there. And you can do the same thing. And again, it's just as simple as going back and finding a photo that you think is interesting or one of your favorites. Um, this is Scout when he fell asleep at my desk. Just tap on that. Go back to favorites. And here he is, right there. And that's how you add photos to favorites. Okay, so here's the last tip, and maybe the most important. And, and here's the deal. Photos in the Photos app, um, if you have thousands of photos, trying to keep track of all of them in any meaningful way, I have found to be somewhat difficult. You know, it used to you had 12 pictures or 24 pictures that you took uh, with your camera, and you were sort of limited, uh, and you were, you know, selective when you took a picture. But when you have a digital camera, you've got your iPhone with you. I mean, you might take 20 pictures at a restaurant of your grandson eating some spaghetti, and really only one or two are good. So you have to sort of try to keep things clean and try to keep things organized, or you end up literally with thousands and thousands of pictures. I do have thousands of pictures. I think I've got, I don't know, six or 7,000 photos in here. But I know people that have 20 and 30,000, 40,000 photos. And I don't know how in the world you ever keep track of those or figure out what you want to look at or dig those kinds of things up. But having custom folders and custom albums is one way to do that. And I'll show you how to do that. So down here, you go to All Albums. And we're going to create a folder first. You can put albums in a folder, but you have to create the folder first and then add an album to the folder. If you've got albums that are here, you can't drag them over into a folder you've created. So it's important that you start with the folder first. So we're going to do this. And this is just going to be an example, but I'm going to create a folder called Years. And if you remember, the library already has a section called years. And you can use something like that. But if you look at it, you've got a big picture here and some other pictures there. And it sort of curates a little differently. If you're down in the years album that we just created, and now we want to create an album, I'm going to create a new album. And we'll call this 2020. We're going to save. And then now you choose the pictures that come up. But keep in mind, that can be really time consuming depending on what you're wanting to do, what type of album you're wanting to create. Um, but here, I'm just going to type in 2020. And that'll find all of the pictures that I have in 2020. So I've got a whole bunch here, a whole lot. And you can just select those, but you don't really want to select them one at a time like that. That just takes forever. You can actually 
sort of swipe down like this. Just hold your finger down and it will continue to select every photo that you have. I took 479 photos in 2020 and then I just click add. And now I have a photo album with all the pictures from 2020. Just like that. And you can do the same thing for another year, a new album. 2021. Search for 2021. And now you have all your 2021 pictures. And again, you can just scroll Click Add, and now you've got 2021 and 2020. And you can put these in order if you want. You can just edit, and drag it over like that, click Done, and now you've got 2020 and 2021. And this is all photos. The Photos app automatically creates an entire folder of all of the pictures you have. Uh, and that would be everything right there. So you could tap into everything in the Years folder. But if you want to look at subfolders or sub albums, you can do it that way. What I plan to do is just go through and make some really custom albums, not necessarily by years, but maybe by people or by pets or by events or things like that that are sort of important to me. And it takes some time to do it, but once you're done, you're finished. And going forward, you can sort of keep up with it a little bit easier if you build these custom albums out. But I think that's just a great way to be able to curate and to take a look at special photos. Custom folders filled with custom albums is the way to go for me. And tapping into the other little pre-programmed features in the Photos app makes viewing photos just more fun. Sometimes the memories in the For You section dig up photos I haven't looked at in a long time. And when I see pictures of me over the years, it's like I'm getting old right before my very eyes. I guess that's better than the alternative. All right, that's it for today. I hope this short tutorial helped you out. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.